Hello and good afternoon from your Cart Community Stadium. I'm Sean Cashmore. Next to me today is Craig Barnes and you join us for this huge six-pointer in the Southern League Premier Division Central. It's Leamington versus Stamford. Three games left this season and unless they can dig deep and secure a playoff spot, that's it for the breaks who currently occupy that last playoff spot in fifth. Today's opponents, Stamford, have plenty to say about that themselves. Well in touch in seventh, a game in hand on Leamington and just four points behind. This is a massive game for both sides and you'd have to think that if either have serious aspirations of promotion, then nothing but a win will do. Last weekend, Leamington were beaten on the road by a robust and frankly better Telford side. The breaks followed that defeat with a visit across the Starbridge on Tuesday night when Henry Landers opened the scoring and fired Leamington ahead with a fine finish. But often has been the case this season, Leamington could not close out that game and take home all three points. The equaliser, another fine strike in the game, this time from Glass Boys' Niall Flint with 20 minutes to go. Neither side could find a winner and the points were shared. Today's opponents, Stamford, come into this game full of form and confidence. They've won three on the bounce in April, scoring nine in those three games, and most recently on Tuesday night, travelling away and dispatching runaway leaders and recently crowned Southern League Premier Division Central Champions Needham Market 3-0. These two met in the league back in early November and after a goalless first half, shared out four goals in the second and the game ended two each. Leamington headed clear of danger up towards halfway. It's helped back in, in towards Chitit Chititsa on the left-hand side. This one I'm definitely going to struggle with this afternoon. However, Walker is beaten in midfield and here comes the more easy pronounced Chettle on the right-hand side in towards Shaw. Goes across the face of goal. Meredith clears it away as that man Chitita was just lurking at the far post. It's collected now on the right-hand side by Hilton. Hilton tries to work it in towards the near post. It's easily collected by Callum Hawkins but just a little bit of a warning side there for Leamington that if they allow Lee Shaw into the box, he's more than capable to work an angle. And one man who is kept his place from against Needham Market on Tuesday night is Lee Shaw and he scored twice that night and you got to see a bit of a glimpse of what sort of player he is there running behind the Leamington defence got a shot away first time but for smart defending could easily have been 1-0 to Stamford. Landers works it out to Meredith who's got space on the right hand side now Landers has making his way into the box tries to make a little angle for Meredith to play it back into him Meredith spotted him but it was just cut out by the Stamford back line Meredith again on the right hand side just tries to stand up Chitiza to see if he can get across in but it's well defended by Stamford and now they'll try and scamper away on the left hand side with Duffy. Duffy's just got goal side of Theo Street momentarily. Duffy chips back onto his right foot, waits for the support, has it on the left hand side with Shaw. Shaw works one in towards the near post, comes out towards the edge of the ankle, really well blocked by Quayna. Quayna took it straight in the face and has stayed down as well. It was a great strike on the edge of the area from Stamford and Quayna stood his ground, took it straight in the face and has stayed down and will need a little bit of treatment. Yeah, he's gingerly coming back round a little bit, isn't he? But he, um, it was lovely play, great build-up play between Duffy and Shaw, who were the two top scorers for Stamford. Came across and the shot came in. Quayner, as you say, took it straight in the face. Well, the ball travelled at such pace into the face of Josh Quayner that I think if he wanted to get out of the way, there was absolutely no time for the man who signed from Hales Owen, who he won promotion with last season. 42nd appearance for Josh Quayner, the 31 year old left back. Plenty of pushing and shoving going in around the goalkeeper. You can have three guesses of who the Leamington player is involved in that. It is Jack Edwards, of course, is no stranger to putting his body in and trying to make a nuisance of himself. And the referee, Smith, has just gone across to have a word with everyone involved. Quayner now stands over the corner. The corner flag billows towards him and Smith is happy the referee and Quayner will swing it in it's high it's looped it's up towards Barnett Barnett heads it down it's towards Edwards Edwards heads one over the top of the goalkeeper and it's into the back of the net it was headed down by Barnett Edwards just flicked one behind him and it was over it was looping it couldn't be any better right into the corner and Duggan was stranded it's Leamington one Stamford nil Leamington take an early lead Another excellent delivery there from Josh Quayner. Came in, there was Barnett, as you say. The goalkeeper looking into the sun. Central defenders doing likewise. Barnett's initial header, then Edwards straight over. Back the net and a superb opening start for the breaks. Tyrone Barnett gives a thumbs up to his family on this near side. It was a looping corner high up into the Warwickshire sky. Barnett made first contact. He just headed it down into an area on the edge of the six-yard box. And there was Jack Edwards just to flick it back towards the goal. The man who ticked 
to over 400 appearances for Leamington this season. Now on his 408th and he gets his 64th goal for the club, his fourth this season. Duggan just lays it out towards Offler, Ashton Offler that is. 34th appearance for him for Stamford this season. Centre back who's got seven goals to his name. They try and clear it, comes off the face of Shirok and Barnett now plays a nice little one two with Walker. And now they work it out to Shirok on this left hand side. Shirok's got Walker overlapping. Walker in towards the 18 yard box. Back onto his right foot. Adam Walker finds the back of the net. It might have been touched over by Henry Landers. But either way, in this battle between these two promotion rivals, Leamington go two goals to the good inside the opening 20 minutes. And this time it's the captain, Adam Walker, who just cut back onto his right foot, sent one goal. Woods. Henry Landers might have had the last touch. Leamington won't care. All they will care about is the fact that it's Leamington 2, Stamford 0. What a superb initial run from Walker it was. He saw what was potentially about to build, took a gamble, which allowed him to get behind the, the defender. From there, he cut inside, saw the keeper struggling to get it back across goal, fired at goal Woods. And as you say, Landers might have got the final touch because he was trying to make sure. But uh, either way, Le a Leamington player was going to score and it's Adam Walker who deserves all the plaudits. Chatiza certainly the danger man, 117 appearances for Stamford and he's packed away 30 goals. But Dan Meredith certainly doing a job on him this afternoon. Here he is though, oh, it rolls Quainer really well. Chatiza has a go, flashes wide. Well, we just spoke about him and he picked up the ball straight into his feet, Chatiza, and he just rolled a little roulette round the outside of Quainer, made a little space for himself, opened it up, had a go. Callum Hawkins, I don't think was too worried, but it was at least half a yard wide. Ball long by Hawkins up towards Quainer, who wins the header well. Barnett again, great hold at play by Barnett in towards the feet of Chirac. Chirac's got Landers and space on the right hand side. Landers, edge of the area, tries to drop his shoulder, left footed, just wide. Landers holds his head in his hand, so does Chirac. They both know it was close. It was great play again by the breaks. It all stems from Tyrone Barnett holding the ball up really well, bringing Chirac into it. Chirac then saw Landers in plenty of space on the right hand side. And as Landers came down and towards the edge of the 18 yard box, he just dropped his shoulder, got it onto his left foot, tried to angle one towards the far post, and it was just a couple of inches wide. He's an ever-present for Stamford, John Challoner, over the years. This is his 397th appearance this afternoon, but he picks up a yellow card, does the Stamford left-back. Edwards hands it in towards Landers! Oh, it's just wide. What an effort from Henry Landers. Free kick was worked in towards Barnett. Barnett cushioned his header down towards Landers, and Landers didn't stand on ceremony. He lashed a right-footed drive low towards the far post. Duggan was planted, but the ball was just a couple of inches wide from making it 3-0 to the breaks. Great effort from Landers, but just wide. It stays 2-0. Well, they thought they'd want to throw in. Chirac did, but instead it's been given to Stamford. But what will Leamington be hoping from this second half? Craig Barnes next to me. Well, I think they'll be hoping for more of what they had to show from the, uh, from the, uh, from the first half. They pretty much dominated it. Hilton's going to have a go, well blocked by Street. Hilton just rode the challenge of Edwards, had a snapshot from all of 25 yards, but his effort was charged down by Theo Street. And now Williams has picked up the ball and cantered in towards the Stanford half, and then he's given it away in towards the feet of Vince, the Stanford captain, in towards Chettle. Chettle on the right hand side is Shaw. Shaw just a little bit of a loose touch. Quayne had to step in and clear it right footed. Meredith tried to bring it down out of the sky, but both him and Landers miss it. And Stanford pick it up through their number nine, Duffy. Duffy has a go from the edge, straight down the throat of Callum Hawkins. Get straight into his glutches. Hawkins just asks for a bit of composure on the right-hand side by Meredith and Landers and then bowls it out towards Meredith. But a shot on target in the first shot in anger of the second half. Vince was interested, but I think they're going to leave it to Hilton. Two-man wall for Leamington made up of Shirok and Quayner. Hilton stands over it. It's going to be Hilton left footed. He's going to work it in low, headed away easily by Walker, falls out towards Vince, who's going to have a drive. And that one's straight at Callum Hawkins, who had a couple of clutches at it as he picked up the loose ball, but there was never really any danger as Vince worked the drive back in. But like I say, it was straight at Callum Hawkins. And uh, Hawkins got his body in the way as well there, like every goalkeeper should, a shot from distance. Make sure if you, know, you don't uh, gather it comfortably, your body is also there as a protective barrier. He did well and saved it. 
Great ball by Barnett in towards Shirok. Shirok in towards the area. Works towards the far post. And Landers just can't quite touch it home. Really good play by Shirok. Straight across the face of goal. Landers couldn't get there. Meredith now picks it up on this right-hand side. Can he work the cross back in? Yes, he can. But there's too much on it. Onto his left foot. It's going to bounce all the way through for a throw-in on the far side. Great centre four play by Tyrone Barnett. Just worked into the channel towards Shirok. Worked the ball back across the six-yard box. And Landers just could not quite turn it home. Stratford have equalised at Mickelover. It's Mickelover 1, Stratford 1. And now Stamford give it away again in towards Edwards. Now Callum Stewart can stretch his legs down the right-hand side. Fresh and full of running after coming in off the bench. Stewart inside the 18-yard box. Onto his right foot. Good save low down by Duggan. Stewart went near post. Duggan was wise to it. It's going to be a corner to Leamington. Lovely run, wasn't it? I mean, Edwards did brilliantly brilliantly well to set him up in went Stewart down the uh, down the Leamington right cut inside uh, it looked like he was going to try and sneak it in the near post but decent save from the keeper although it was a, a good height for him in comes the throw in towards the near post headed away by Quayna Edwards collects left footed he just clears it no one up there for the breaks it's straight in towards Duggan the goalkeeper who's almost on halfway and Duggan will go long Duggan up towards the edge of the Leamington area well headed away by Street only as far as Chateza Chateza again he's been really well stood up Chateza again Chateza gives it away it's almost become a running theme in this game Chateza gives it away to Walker Walker's got support he's got Stewart on his right Kelly Evans on his left he opts for Stewart Stewart twists and turns and finds the back of the net that'll wrap it up Callum Stewart off the bench gets his 20th goal of the season it was worked into his path by Adam Walker and then Callum Stewart just twisted and turned inside the 18 yard box and then rolled one past the stranded Duggan to make it three for the breaks it's Leamington three Stamford nil Leamington have wrapped up all three points they have and great play from Adam Walker there he was just trundling forward Stamford players lots of them couldn't get back there were two in front of him he had Kelly Evans to one side Callum Stewart to the other he opted for Stewart to the right hand side for Leamington who strode forward and put it beyond Wallace for a comfortable 3-0 lead 20th of the season for Callum Stewart three for Leamington this afternoon and it's been a really good performance from the breaks a local lad adding another one to his tally Hawkins just measures up his goal kick, goes long, referee puts his whistle to his lips and Leamington have put in a resounding performance here to come out 3-0 winners, Craig Barnes. They've been excellent, Sean. I, you know, I, just when you need it, you need a performance, you need the points, you need to show that you are seriously in the playoff hunt and promotion contenders and that's exactly what the Le Leamington team have shown today. Numerous displays throughout the whole Leamington team today how well they've played and as a team I think they'll enjoy the celebrations after the game and Paul Holleran will be delighted with his team. It's finished here at your Co-op Community Stadium, Leamington 3, Stamford 0. Paul, uh, three goals, three points, clean sheet, you must be happy with today's performance. Yeah, good day at the office, um, you know, I think we probably all probably knew what kind of a game it was going to be um, if you if you if you watch Stamford this year I think if you're going to get a season ticket you'd probably get a season ticket at Stamford they're such a um, front footed uh, front footed uh, brave team that commit people forward they'll never be in a nil nil I don't think uh, I really like them you know they're probably a little bit unfortunate probably a couple of the main players missing today for them they had a t you know they've had a tough schedule um, but there's a lot for them to like about what they've done this year without a shadow of a doubt. But today, on today's game, I think we've just um, put a really polished performance in. So we've we've been structurally very strong. Um, we've uh, we've tried to keep them on the outside. We've dealt with the overloads, and then you know we, we were better. Probably this week, at the three games, we were better on the count of the quality. Um, you know we've created lots and lots of chances um, and you know that's I always knew this week a bit, I thought I thought we'd hoping we'd get two results this week we've managed to get two results the, the draw at Starbridge and, uh, and uh, the win today I know how tough this week was going to be um, so I think you look at the character of the players and the mental strength of the players you know it was a tough afternoon last Saturday at Telford 
it was a really tough game on Tuesday um, and probably a couple of things out of our control didn't go our way uh, and then you look at the resilience you know, playing a Stamford side on a great run um, and then you look at the, that was as, as polished a performance uh, as you'll see sort of this year I think from Leamington and uh, and as, as well as the defensive structure you had the attacking options all the time uh, all the time you know and uh, uh, and it was, you know, it was, um, yeah, it was uh, really, really good. The games don't get easier and coming towards the end of the season now, how important is it to pick up as many points as possible to try and secure that playoff place? Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, I haven't seen the results yet, but it's, it's you just, you, you know what you, you've got to do. Listen, um, we're, we're, in a, we're two games to go, we're in a decent position. Um, um you know, Stanford are still in it. You know, you, you know, um, you know, we've got a lot of work still to do. It's, but I think today, look at today, probably the last few games here, the house Zone game. You, you get to this stage of the game, the, the, the games mean something which is good. I mean, it was a, it was a bit like a bit of a playoff game today, sort of thing. Um, it's great, but we, you know, that's it's a good day's work. But there's a, hopefully there's another two or three days work to do yet. Um, but uh, no, that's really pleased me today. Really, really pleased me because. They're a, they're, to keep a clean sheet against them and be structurally so sound it was was some massive individual performance th- throughout the team today, and um, it'd be very hard to single out one because so many, so many. I always ask players, you know, just give me six and a half out of ten every week, and I'll be happy with that. But lots of eights today. Uh, I think last Saturday were, were fours and fives, but lots of eights today. So when you get when you get seven, eight, nine players at them levels, you tend to win football matches.